What's up guys, it's Minx, and we've got probably the last massive update for this. Um, this had significant changes on the back end. Um, not too many new features on the front end, but there's one big one that I think everyone can appreciate. Um, so we'll look at all that real quick. Um, shouldn't be too long. Uh, in terms of like actual functionality, you're not going to see too many different things. So um, the biggest change is we're moving away from Configuration Manager with this mod and into um, a menu that I wrote up today. Um, the biggest reason for this change was compatibility with other mods. A lot of other mods, including a uh, one of the main APIs that was written by someone, um, uses the fact that the game destroys the object to do stuff on purpose. Um, whereas my method of dealing with it was to say, hey, don't destroy my object instead. Um, so we kind of took different approaches. Um, and it looks like theirs has kind of taken over. So um, with that, um, I'd like to make my mod compatible. And that is what I did. Uh, so... A bigger lobby, for example, will work with this now um, because a setting that doesn't work with bigger lobby can now be turned off. Um, so um, let's go ahead and firstly turn off that setting, or let me show you how. So if you turn on that setting to use this mod, you can now turn it off. Um, if you go into your Epinex folder inside the game, go to config epinex.cfg. If under chain loader, this is set to uh, true, make sure it is false. Um, if it's true, the other mods won't work. Um, my mod did work with configuration manager and it still will if you set this to, uh, um, if you set this to true and you want to use configuration manager, you can, but at this point it's not necessary because I have a menu that does everything for my mod that configuration manager did. Um, but I'm not taking away the support for it because it was built in um so um with that said that's the bigger change there is a secondary change that is also important in my opinion um which is the uh um disable if not host so if you're not the host of the game it's going to prevent you from messing with the settings um the menu will still open up right now i temporarily i don't know if i still uh, have that in here just comment it out i could actually just go ahead and say um if we're not host we don't open up the menu at all um because it's not needed so what it does is it used to uh this update function doesn't get called oddly but this does work somehow which is kind of weird right um and i actually i know why um but um what it does is it says hey go in and uh update this variable every frame and say, is there anything else that needs to be done? And it says in here, it used to say, uh, my GUI dot is host, uh, uh, was equal to is host. Um, it doesn't right now. So we can just say, um, my GUI dot is host, GUI is host equals instance dot is host. Oh, is, is host not static? It is static. I just need the reference that way. Oh, okay. That's weird. Oh, yeah, because it's static. The Dewey. I got that backwards. Um, okay, so uh, with that update, uh, real quick, I just wanted to add that back in. Um, the settings, so this blocking the menu isn't my way of saying, no, you can't mess with settings. The settings are already restricted if you're not host. However, if you're not the host, you can't even pull up the menu anymore. So um, with that update, let's go ahead and open up the game. And as a result of that change, the menu won't open up on the main menu. It'll like mess with my mouse a little bit. So for example, I can turn off my mouse, but um, if I hit the button to open up the menu one more time, um, it won't open. It's supposed to be open right now, but since we're not a host, it won't. If I were to host a game, it opens up right when we join, mess with it. Um, it has all the settings. It pulls all the stuff from the config manager, so it all saves and everything, uh, just like before. Um, we can turn on the same stuff. Um, everything works. Um, it's all pretty cool. It's kind of I like that I can do this now. Have the like, different pages and stuff. I'm sorry that the menu's ugly. I'll be honest. I am really uh, 
Um, just I, I'm not a UI guy. I mean, I'm barely a code guy at this point. Like my stuff is a mess. Um, but let's go in really quickly. We're not going to mess with anyone. Um, but so menu is on because I was a host. I can open it up in the main menu. Let's join someone else's game and we'll leave right away, but we'll see the menu disappear and not be able to turn back on. If I joined a lobby, that would work. I don't join too many lobbies, so I don't have to deal with this too often. Wow. This one? Two in a row. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one. Third time's the charm. There we go. And menu disappears. Can't mess with it. Um, so that is everything. Um, it's pretty cool. So if you want to start using Big Lobby with it, use the other ones. That's fine. Um, if there's anything wrong with it that I didn't catch, I thought I caught everything. I went through and I tested a bunch of stuff, made sure things were working as they were before. If there's any things that I've missed, please let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.